Hi Taurus, welcome to your career reading. This is going to be a shorter express tarot reading. I understand life can get really busy and we don't always have the time to watch a long 30 minute tarot reading, right? So I got you Taurus. This is a quick energy check in around your career. So I want to see what is the energy around Taurus when it comes to money and career. Oh, the first card out is the Son of Cups uh, in the Sufi Tarot deck, which basically stands for the Knight of Cups. Eight of Wands. Okay, I see some good momentum around you, Taurus, when it comes to money and career. Maybe you've already picked up on this energy. I don't think you have because you're showing me you're pretty conflicted about your career or something that is causing a lot of anxiety and stress. Uh, so maybe you're going through um, a slightly difficult time in when it comes to money and your finances. I'm so sorry if that's your story, but I think it's not going to last for too long because there is somebody coming in towards you and they have an offer for you. They have a gift for you. Momentum is picking up. If you've been interviewing at places that are for jobs outside of the city that you live in right now, I think the outcome can be very positive. I just see like forward momentum, like someone coming towards you. Something is picking up steam. Oh, okay. So how does this energy develop in the near future? Show me what's happening for Taurus money and career in the near future. Hearts want to talk. Okay, so the first one, wow, look at that. Nine of coins or the nine of pentacles. Literally, money growing on trees. <laughs> Taurus, you better be happy watching this. This is amazing. But then, boom, you show me the three of swords as well. So let's see in the future. What's going on? What's going on? Because three of swords, of course, is a slightly difficult energy for a wand. So I think, Taurus, what my spirit team is telling me is that you have abundance coming your way. Uh, some of you could buy a new house or some of you have been saving to move to a bigger house. I think you'll suddenly find that money is literally growing on trees or you've fallen into um, some kind of like money, like inheritance, windfall gains. Something of that sort is what I'm getting. And one thing to watch out, and I will pull some clarifiers on this three of swords, is, you know, to not like sometimes we interfere with the universe's plan by bringing in our past baggage or our past relationship with money. Um, and the sooner you figure out what your relationship with money is in life, I think uh, the more calm and composed you can be in difficult financial times because you should know um, ideally you know what money can bring for you and what money cannot give you in your lifetime so once you have that sorted personally I feel like you know that has really helped me just knowing what my relationship with money is uh, what is that bare minimum value to like you know make my sort of bills and all of that to like hit my minimum expenses but then over and above that what level of money allows me to travel, allows me to do X, Y, Z. And depending on whatever phase you are in your life, what is more important, right? Because sometimes, you know, travel has been extremely important for me, but in some years it hasn't been because I'm focusing on self-development or, you know, like the last few years I've been so immersed in tarot that for me, like, uh, you know, investing in books, investing in courses, investing in like learning more about astrology and the stars, has been so fulfilling. It doesn't cost as much as, you know, an expensive uh, trip abroad, but it gives me so much like joy. So I'm just trying to share examples from my life to give you a sense of what I mean by that. Um, because I feel like that'll help you get over this three of swords energy where you might feel, even though this abundance is coming in for you in the near future, where you might be tempted to think that you don't have enough or you might vibrating from this place of lack It'll be good to know that what are your non-negotiables when it comes to the amount of money that you want to make? What are things that you can pivot on? And because right now, or let's say this year, 2023, like X, Y, Z are my priorities. So there's this is a time to come up with a plan, right? Is what Spirit is saying. But you do have abundance coming in and something about home and stability. Let's clarify, please, the Three of Swords in the near future. What's the Three of Swords in the near future for Taurus? Queen of Swords, exactly. Like get clear Taurus like you need to articulate your own truth about your career about money about your financial standing with your own self first before you can you know with confidence ask for let's say a certain salary or ask for a raise or ask for a promotion you and people can pick up on that confidence if you've done that inner thinking you've done the planning you've come up with a you know your mass on what you need um, it shows when you're negotiating let's say an offer Okay, show me this nine of coins that's coming in. 
six of wands, you're going to be victorious in some part of your career. So maybe you will get that job, you will get that promotion. Um, if you have your own business, you know, you might win a big contract, you might have, a, like, you might get a big new client. Um, that's amazing. What's the four of wands? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. It is coming in, Taurus, and maybe it's taken longer than you would have liked it to, but it is coming and we've got the King of Swords. So we've got a divine counterpart, King to the Queen of Swords. Maybe some of you um, work with your romantic partner or you're gonna you're attracting somebody in the workplace who's gonna feel like, wow, they're so aligned with my vision. They get it. Like they're trying to build exactly what I'm trying to build. So maybe there's an opportunity to partner up with like-minded people and you don't have to do it all on your own. So think about that, but you have chariot. Oh my God, forward momentum, victory is coming your way, Taurus. I'm so excited for you. So let's close off your express reading with a few Oracle cards, please. What does Taurus need to see about their money and career? No need to worry. Oh my God, spirit is not mincing its words there. No need to worry, Taurus. You've got this. Spirit has got this. You're ready. You're ready for a step up. I think some of you maybe are, you know, deep down that it's time to like move on to something new or move on to like a bigger challenge, but you're maybe doubting yourself. You're doubting your abilities. And also why that money conversation or that math is so important is because I feel there's an offer coming in. And the last thing you want is to be unprepared, you know, when it comes to salary negotiations or so start thinking about that, come up with a plan so that when it comes in, you're like, boom, yeah, I got this. I know exactly the kind of money that I want to ask for. Communicate clearly. I cannot make this up. Literally, you're just talking about, think about it, come up with a plan so that you can be very assertive and communicate clearly. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. If you enjoyed this format, uh, please do leave me a comment, like this video, and please subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.